what advice do you have for the other three on this call, Grace, seeing as you've already been to the Olympic Games? My advice is that anything is possible. Whatever you put your mind, you can definitely accomplish it. Never give up. Find new ways to get motivated and always trust your coach. You know, always trust the process. Um, if you have a little doubt, you know, try to, you know, communicate with him. Um, feedback is always important, but trust the process, trust yourself, and never give up. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that sounds like the others are appreciating that. So th <laughs> thanks, Grace. Uh, <laughs> Emily, I want to toss it back to you. Uh, seeing as you beat Lily King, a big name in swimming, and, and set a meet record at the 2019 Toyota U.S. Open uh, simultaneously. Was that your proudest moment of your swimming career? Um, well, I, I guess kind of, yeah. I, I go more on times than, you know, who you beat because um, everyone's in different like places when you're racing, people are in different levels of taper, people are feeling different. So um, to me, it, it matters more about times and that was the best time. So I was really happy with it. Um, I was actually at the meet with Chad from my coach, one of the coaches from UMBC, the head coach, um, cause my coach couldn't come to that one. So I was hanging out with him and a couple of the team, the UMBC teammates were there. So it was just really fun. It was kind of like a throwback and I got to, you know, be with old teammates, which was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely um, kind of, gave me a little, a little bit more confidence moving forward um, and seeing kind of back to that last question too, seeing as I've been consistently improving, which is um, awesome in the past couple of years. I think that, you know, that was a great milestone to reach and looking forward, I think I was more prepared for 2020 um, just confidence wise, knowing that kind of like you belong here and you can race with these people. Um, but looking forward to 2021, I'm hoping that this kind of path will continue to go. My improvement will continue to get a little bit better and maybe I'll have an even bigger shot um, next summer. And you were in uh, Olympic trials for the uh, last Summer Olympics. How have you, I guess, improved uh, since then? I was actually at trials in 2012 as well. So this will be my third trials. Um, 2012, I was just super young. I had just made the meet, like one of the last people to qualify, um, one of the last entries. Um, so that meet, I was just kind of there for the experience. Although it's a very stressful meet. I mean, swimming isn't a very popular sport. People don't come out and watch swim meets for fun. Um, but everybody comes to trials. So going from, you know, basic UMBC swim meets with maybe 50 people in the stands um, to NCAAs, which had, which had a lot more people, but still not like an arena, to like a full-sized basketball arena with thousands of people in the stands. Um, it's definitely a very intimidating experience um so 2012 was kind of like that first year where i was like this is just fun i'm here i get to see all these really fast people all these olympians um and then in 2016 i was a little bit more competitive i made it to the semifinal, but it was still um it's a really stressful meet environment it's fun once you know people but if you don't know anybody which i didn't know anybody then um it was definitely stressful so looking forward to next summer I feel a lot more confident I mean I've been on the national team a few years now um, I've met a whole bunch of people I have a lot of friends that are at this level so um, I think that's kind of like the best part of it all is the camaraderie of you know feeling like you belong and actually knowing people so that you do belong um, it kind of takes the stress off so um, I've gotten a lot stronger a lot faster and I've um, had a lot more experience in the past four years so I'm excited this is an elite group we have at this at this round table. Obviously, a bunch of decorated America East, uh, former America East student athletes. One of which, a national champion, Ellie. Uh, I'll go. I'll go to you next because, unfortunately for you, Emily, you're actually not the only one that set a record uh, in an event in the last couple of years. As as these as you all look ahead to the Olympics. So, Ellie, uh, setting the record in that the American record in the uh, mile. What was what was that like? And I guess how does that kind of tell you how much you progress you've made uh, as you look ahead to, you know, next steps in your career. <laughs> it definitely was a confidence booster, um, similar to what Grace was saying, how she was feeling like really fast and fit this year and ready. 
um, you know, like having that indoor race um, and breaking the record made me feel really pretty confident heading into the, or more confident <laughs> heading into the Olympic trials. Um, so it was kind of, you know, a pretty big bummer, but um, that was just an, like, that was, <laughs> I don't know what to say about the race. Honestly, it's just like um, one of my proudest moments and, um, you know, kind of what Emily was saying, how it, um, you know, like made me realize that I belong, you know, the people that I was competing against and the record was 37 years old. Um, I didn't think that I would have done that before. Like if somebody told me before the race that I was going to break the American record, I would have told them that they were crazy. And so um, after that happened, you know, we kind of started to think, well, maybe I'll do the 1500 at the Olympic trials. So, you know, it's kind of opened up a can of worms where I, I ran the 5k at world champs this fall. Um, and that was kind of where I was heading um, this year and then I had that race so now I'm I'm not really sure I it's kind of nice to have options Noelle you set a record uh, US record in the 100 meter dash and like we've talked about you you haven't been doing track and field for for that long uh, being a, a lacrosse player yourself so how does that kind of illustrate your determination to, to stay competitive athletically and, and obviously succeed at that yeah, I mean, playing lacrosse for four years, and I mean, after my accident happened, doing run tests with people with two legs, that definitely got me very competitive. I didn't want to be the last person because if I was the last person, my assistant coach would be screaming at me, and then if I was beating anybody, she would be screaming at them, saying a girl's one like beating you right now. I mean, it wasn't a, it was just that competitive spirit. So I think that's definitely helped me with sprinting and just being comfortable with running next to people. But um, I mean, going into the world championships, I had no expectations. I was just honestly, it was my first, it was my first meet representing the USA, at USA and just being able to go and compete against the best in the world. I was definitely very grateful for that um, to be a part of the team, getting to know my teammates. I was very grateful for it. Um, I can honestly tell you, I blacked out the whole entire race. I didn't even know that, like, I didn't even know what the American record was. Um, actually, the person who told me that I, I broke it was the person who has been my mentor through this whole thing. Uh, she was one of my, she's one of my teammates, and she was who I practiced with every single day. She came running up to me after and said, you broke the American record. So just being able to say that I did that, uh, it's, it's honestly, I'm very grateful for it. But, I mean, I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. So I just want, I'm just going to use that to uh, get better and just not to to be satisfied with that obviously and hopefully I can get my times a lot better for next year.